Hey guys, welcome to your YouTube channel where we talk all about Kate. Welcome back and we are studying DBMS and in the normalization we have fortunately covered all the four types of normal forms. YNF, 2NF, 3NF and BCNF. This video is a quick revision video just to make you revise all the types of normal forms quickly. So like I have spoken about quicker, I call them quicker. So once you make a, a quicker uh, notebook uh, where you will you know make short notes about each and every subject like two page for each subject kind of so this entire unit uh, normalization you will get just give four five lines or a paragraph right half of the page so in that uh, you just have to put these four lines about the four function uh, four types of normal forms and that I have mentioned it like I mean it's just a way I'm telling you that how you make your notes quick the notes but uh, we will discuss that further in the uh, pro pro complete video about that let me just brief you all four types one and f we all know no multi-valued attribute a proper format of relation schema it has to follow all the properties of relation model okay if a relation is uh, relation properties are defined properly then that relation is in one and f okay nothing much 2NF nothing but it has to be in 1NF first of all okay and it has not to have any partial dependency so 2NF is 1NF plus no partial dependency next third normal form it should be in 2NF it should be in second normal form plus no transitive dependency okay BCNF it should be in 3NF plus no overlapping candidate keys okay so no partial dependency no transitive dependency no overlapping candidate keys partial dependency quickly part of key determining non key easy okay no uh, transitive dependency non key determining non key or non key plus key attribute determining the non key okay overlapping of candidate keys key attribute determining key attribute okay this is it i mean so quick and every relation which is in 3nf which is in three which is in three nf is always in two nf and is always in one nf or else every relation which is in bcnf is also in three nf is also in two nf is also in one nf and uh, similarly like i said for three nf it's in two nf it's also in one nf a relation which is in two nf is also in one nf a relation which is in one nf is only in one nf okay the same thing i would represent now by a diagram I am explaining uh, the same thing with the help of a Venn diagram uh, which will let you know uh, more clearly that uh, who is more strict and who is a part of what or who has all the normal forms okay so at first of all in the universe of discourse where your relation is talking about uh, the, the outer level says it is 1 NF okay if you go with one more condition it, like the outermost that means more loose okay loosely bound is 1 nf if you put a condition and take a subset of it okay it's a set theory things so like the bigger set is you have 1 nf out of this if you make a smaller set of it that means leaving some outside okay which are only 1 nf but not 2 nf so if i take a small set of it and put a condition then they becomes second normal form these are the 2 nf forms okay now out of these two normal forms if i put another condition that it should not also have no transitive dependency then it becomes more strict and we get a subset of it which is 3nf out of this 3nf we put one more condition okay we are adding condition one by one as we are going from there here to here okay so then putting one more condition and making it making again a more strict the most strict in fact and that becomes a smaller set now and that is known as BCNF so here it, we had just one condition here we added one more so it became two conditions now here it became three conditions and here it has got four conditions 
Okay, the first condition was applied was here, no repeating group, that means no multivalent attributes. Okay, the second condition along with this applied was also no positive, uh, partial dependency. This plus no partial dependency. Okay, after coming here, no repeating group, also no partial dependency, also no transitive dependency. Okay, now once we get in the, in the center of it, the most core part, we say no repeating group, no partial dependency, no transitive dependency, also no overlapping candidate keys, which we commonly, in the common language, we call it as violation of BCNF, B, BBCNF, okay? So that thing. So all four conditions apply, then it becomes a BCNF. Otherwise, if you come out, just one condition not satisfied, that's three, it becomes three NF. Just one condition not satisfied, just two conditions satisfied, it becomes two NF. Coming out, only one condition satisfied, which is the least condition, then it becomes the 1NF. I hope, I really hope that now it is very clear uh, all the four types of normal forms and what are their conditions to be, uh, them to be true and how do we check for a given relation that it is in which normal form, okay? And how do we uh, check for the type of functional dependency? So, uh, as you have all learned how to calculate the keys, all the candidate keys, so every time we have to always find out all the candidate keys. And after the candidate keys, we have to check for each functional dependency, which type of functional dependency it is. It's not that you check for all of, the, all of them for all the types. You check one, if it is partial dependency, naturally it won't be transitive dependency. If it is transitive, naturally it won't be VBCNF. Okay, and you will be very, it will be very easy for you to check for that because you know all the keys, so you know all the key attributes, and you also know all the non-key attributes. Okay, again here I want to mention one more thing. Uh, practically, three NF is su uh, supposed to be three NF uh, third normal form is considered uh, sufficient enough for a relation schema to be in. In fact, uh, most of the relation schema designs go with the third normal form design because. Uh, they say we don't lose any information, we don't lose any functional dependency because you will see further in the further uh, video when I'm going to talk about the decomposition because we have just understood what these normal forms are independently, okay? But we have not yet tried for going from lower normal form to the higher normal form. That means turning your relation schema from normal to the lower normal form to the highest higher normal form. Okay, which will involve a decomposition based on the functional dependency which is violating the condition of the higher normal form, you will decompose it. Okay, so what I was trying to say is uh, when you will see decomposition, you will see uh, there should be certain uh, uh, conditions to be, uh, to be uh, true when you are decomposing it. That means nothing should be lost, no information loss should be there in terms of no attribute should be lost. Uh, we should try that no functional dependency is lost while decomposing it. So 3NF ensures that there will be no functional dependency loss. But once you get, reach up to the BCNF, there is a certain number of chances that a functional dependency can be lost in this case. That's why most of the relation schemas are, uh, are normalized up to the third normal form. Okay. Also one more thing I want to mention here is, uh, that's a very simple statement that every binary relation is always in BCNF. Okay. Binary relation means a relation which have two attributes. So every relation which have only two attributes, certainly it's going to be in BCNF. Reason I would explain further in examples. Okay. I hope this thing is clear so far and I, I want to see you very soon again. And now uh, we will solve a lot of questions based out of these type of normal forms coming from the standard books and also coming from the previous year gate questions. After that, we will take up the decomposition part, what, how to decompose and what are the properties of the decomposition that has to be met. Okay, I'll see you very soon again. Uh, till then, take care. Bye-bye.